Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how you can create your first project in C Sharp and connect it to the Microsoft Access database. So we have written a simple code. So whenever our form loads and if the connection is successful, we will be able to see this connection successful label here. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple login uh, form and check or validate your data against your database. So in the last video, I, I have shown you that I have this employee info database in which I have this table called employee data and I have these columns in this database. I have added two more field to this database called username and password and this username and password we are going to validate using our c sharp form so let's go to our uh, form here and this is the code i have shown you in the last video to connect to the access database so in case you don't know how i have done the connection with the access database using c sharp just watch my last video now in this i'm going to change uh, this code a little bit so that uh, we can use this connection globally or uh, everywhere in the class. So what I'm going to do is this all the code I have written in, in the form load event in the last video, right? But if we want to use the same connection in other events, for example, uh, whenever we click login button or other other uh, button click events then this has to be uh, a global variable to this class. So what we can do to this code, OLEDB connection is equal to new connection, just copy and cut this code and paste it inside your form1 class just below this declaration of your form1 class here. And we are going to make it private so that this OLEDB connection is private to our form 1 only and no other form will be able to use this connection. Okay. Now for this connection string, this is also going to be common for uh, our form 1. So we don't need to connect uh, again and again to uh, the single form. So what we can do is just copy and cut this uh, connection string and go to the constructor of form 1. So constructor of form 1 is just the name of uh, the class itself and this method. And here you will find initialize component which is automatically generated by C sharp for you. And just below that just uh, make some space and paste your connection dot connection string and whatever your connection string is. This I have shown you in the last video, right? So what we have done, we have uh, declared our OLEDB connection as a global variable, which is private to uh, the class form one, which is our form one. And we have uh, pasted this connection string to the constructor of this form one class, okay? And now in this form load event, we only have the connection open and connection close. So whenever we need to this, use this connection, we will just open the connection and close the connection. And we don't need to, uh, you know, write, declare this connection and connection string again and again in the button click event. Okay. Now let, let's check it if it works okay. Uh, okay, and it works. Connection successful. Now let's design our form for a login page. Okay, so go to this design view. I will open my toolbox from here. And in here, what I'm going to do is I will take two labels and I will take two text boxes. Text box one, text box two. And I'm going to take a button okay and uh, i can enclose these three these things in a group box so it looks uh, okay 
So what I can do is I will go here and I will right click and I say send to back. Okay. So this will be our um, login page. So I will just change the title of this group box as uh, login and I will change the title of these labels as uh, so go to the property of the label and change the text as uh, user name and second label text is password and we can change the text box names also so just select your text box and go to text box name and just uh, change the name as txt underscore username so that you know that this text box is for username and same we will do for this second uh, second text box and we will name it as txt underscore password okay and this button name i will uh, change this button name as uh, btn underscore login and the text of this button i will change it as login okay so all the things are done let's change the font size of all these uh, controls so that we can see them so i will just select all and i will go to the property called font bold and let's say 60 so now our tools are little bit visible okay so i will resize all the buttons and text boxes and labels and now it looks fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just uh, going to double click this login button here and in here in this button click event I will write the code to uh, check whether username and password is present in my access database and if it's present I will, I'm going to show some message that uh, username and password is correct right now in this button click event we will first open the connection with the database and close the uh, connection with the database as we I have shown you in the last video connection open and connection close and this connection is uh, object of our OLADB connection if you remember right so I will just uh, copy and paste this connection open and connection close uh, codes from uh, our last uh, video so what we have in this uh, login uh, button click event connection open and connection close and in this connection and co uh, open and connection close we want to uh, create a command which we can execute so that it can validate our uh, fr uh, from our database so what I am going to do is I will create a OLEDB command object which will be our command. So I will write command is equal to new OLEDB command and now we want to give this command the connection. So our connection is this, this uh, connection object right. So this command has to know on which connection it has to execute the command, right? So I will just copy this connection object and I will say not, not this, but I will copy the command object, which is this one dot and I will say connection is equal to my command, right? So uh, not command but the connection right so now our command knows that we have this connection and we need to uh, we need to use this uh, command for this connection which we have created this connection right 
Now in the next line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a query. So I want to give a query text. So I will use this command object once again and I will say command text is equal to this command text is a string or a query which we want to execute. So just give uh, these double quotes and in here we will write a query to query this database right so here i'm going to uh, write a query select asterisk asterisk means a wildcard which uh, will uh, give you all the uh, column data from your database so select asterisk from your database name so what's your database name employee info right I will write the name of my database employee info database right and what I want to validate against my database username and password okay and let's see all the columns in the database username and password are text fields right so I will say in my code select star from employee info where username username is the column name of the username is equal to and then just give uh, this i will show you so is equal to give two single quotes not double quotes but two single quotes single quotes and single quotes and inside those two single quote give these the two double quotes and then inside these two double quotes give two this plus sign plus symbol and in here we are going to pass our the name of our username text field so our new username text field is text username so i will pass in these two plus bracket or uh, plus and i will say dot text i will explain the query once again so don't worry and and so just give and here this will be a quote first and just give and and then copy your password column name which is password and is equal to once again single quote in between double quote in between plus plus and copy the name of your password field name which is text password dot text okay so now our query looks like this select asterisk from your database name where username is equal to whatever we enter in the username text box so this is this one and your password is equal to whatever we enter in the password text box okay now this is just the declaration of the query but we need to execute our query also right so what we are going to do here is we want to execute it so we will uh, write command dot execute non query right so non query is uh, the query whenever you will use this non query with your command whenever you want to get some data from the database so for example you want to uh, sorry once again so whenever you write command dot for example non query it will give you the insert or you want to update or you want to delete something which will not return you anything then you will use non query with the command and if you want to read some data from the database for example in the case of select queries then you need to use execute query or execute reader which will give you some uh, some values and you will read these values from this execute reader so in our case we use select 
uh, query so we will use execute reader in our case but whenever you want to insert or update or delete you will use execute non query so let's use uh, execute reader in our in select query case and then i will give the semicolon so whenever we uh, execute our command and it will give you some data we need to uh, read some da this data from our oledb reader object so i will write oledb reader let's see where this oledb data reader is so just Search for OLEDB data reader and we will say this data reader object name is reader is equal to our command whatever we execute. Now this reader will uh, contain the data which comes from the execution of this query. So we want to read the data right and how we can read the data using this while loop and we will say reader while reader dot next of reader dot read dot read then we want to do something in the while loop okay so we will just give this curly braces and this uh, reader dot read will give you a boolean result so until and unless it gives you true reader dot gives you uh, read give you true this loop will continue uh, in the loop right and in here we want to read the data so what we are uh, use we are creating uh, the login page right so what i will do is i will create a variable int here so i will declare uh, int count is equal to zero this is a variable to count the values of which are coming and i will say count is equal to count plus one okay you can uh, do it like this also but i think you already know uh, the basics okay so you can do it like this count plus plus also you can do count plus plus it doesn't matter if you do count is in count plus one or count plus one okay now go outside the, your while loop and check the value of count so just if and just uh, check the value of count if count is equal to one is equal to one then we will say username and password is correct and i will tell you why i'm doing this in a moment when i complete my code and we will just check if our count is greater than 1 and we will also check if count is not is equal to 1 and not greater than 1 then we will show the else condition now in this if count is equal to 1 we will show the message message box dot show and we will show the message that our username and password is correct name and password is correct now if the count is greater than 1 that means it has found duplicate entry in the database so i will say duplicate duplicate username and password okay and else our username and password is correct uh, not correct so i will say username and password is not correct now i will give you the demo why i have written this code so 
why I have uh, declared this count variable to count the number of result which are coming from the execution of this query and if this count is equal to 1 that means we have only single entry in our database for whatever the username and password user has entered so this for example he enters admin and uh, whatever is the password and if, if admin is username admin and password uh, abcde is present in our database only once or only for one employee then only uh, we want to show that our username and password is correct otherwise if this admin and password is duplicated and used for other employee also we will show this message that the entry is duplicate and then uh, it cannot be true so let's try and run the program first and let's check whether it really works or not so we have our connection successful and we have this form let's go to our database we i opened my database and let's check against this data so for the employee one mark we have username admin and this password so i will write the username admin and this password is a b c e d a b c e d and when i say login hopefully i will get the result but it's showing the microsoft access database cannot find input so let's see what is uh, the problem so the this table name is not correct and that's true because i have given the database name but not the table name right select star from database but this query is not true we want to give the table name here employee data right so we'll just change this database name from the table name employee data and let's try to run it once again and I will give the username once again admin and a b c e d which is our password login once again and now you can see username and password is correct okay and username and password is correct and once again for example this employee one username is duplicated at two places and this password is duplicated at two places in the database right and i will save this and let's try and check once again i'll run the program and i will give this uh, username and password which is present in the database two times so what happens emp1 username and password is one two three four five and when i say that you see the message comes duplicate username and password that means if your query finds any duplicate username and password it will show this message once again duplicate username and password right so what we have done we have created our login page for our project which validates against your username and password in the database so that's it for this video in the next video i will show you some some more uh, things in this project so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now